Hello and welcome back to our videos. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use WhatsApp sequences to send abandoned cart notifications for our e-commerce stores. For this example, I have already created my WhatsApp templates. As you can see on my WhatsApp manager, I have created five abandoned cart templates here and let's check each of the templates one by one. So this will become the first message and as you can see, I have created variables here. So the first variable would be for the first name of our customer. And this is for our store name for the variable two. And for the variable three, it will become the purchase items, as you can see here, two pieces of chocolate cake. And for the amount that is for the variable four, that's 20 USD. For the variable five, it is the cart URL. Once the customer clicks this URL, they will be redirected to their checkout page where they left their items. And for the variable six and seven, that would be for the email and the phone number of our store so that they can contact us directly. So it's really up to you how you create your abandoned cart message and once you want your abandoned cart message to have variables, simply click the add variable on your WhatsApp template to add these variables. And later, we are going to configure this on our e-commerce store notification. So our first message would be, did you forget something? Hi, John, we are from Mac Store. We saw that you attempted to purchase the following, blah, blah, blah. When submitting your template for review, it's highly advisable to add a sample so that it would get approved easier. So that's for my first message. The second message would be this one. Hi, John, we are from Mac Store. Earlier, we sent a message about your attempted purchase. We are resending this in case you did not receive it. So this is just a follow-up message. And this is how I created the template. Same as the first message, I have added variables here. Okay, I have added seven variables in total. So let's inspect the third message. For the third message, this is my header. We reserved your items for you. And same is true, I have added the variables. So these variables are native in WhatsApp template. When you create a template, always use native variables from WhatsApp so that it gets approved easier. Do not include any other variables beside the native variable that is supported by WhatsApp. So this is my fourth message. I am giving 20% discount and I'm also including a coupon code for this message. And for my last message, I am telling them that the coupon code would expire soon and we are going to give the reserved items to other customers. So this will become the last message of our sequence. Once you get all of your WhatsApp templates approved, you can then use it for your abandoned cart WhatsApp notifications in your e-commerce store. So here I have five messages all approved. Now let's learn how to use this templates for our WhatsApp sequences. First, let's go back to our MMIO dashboard and go to WhatsApp. We are going to create a flow. Okay, after that, let's create a new flow. The name of our flow would be Abandoned Card Recovery Flow Demo 2. Click OK. And then we are going to add all of the templates. Right click, add a template. And then this is our first template. So let's configure this and use abandoned cart recovery message one. Click use template. Now, as you can see here, we need to configure all of the variables here. So where do we get the variables needed for this configuration? Well, we can get these variables from e-commerce shop notifications. So let's open a new tab and then let's go to shop notifications. Go to e-commerce and then shop notifications and then click add new notification. This will open up our new notification dashboard where we can get the message variables. So these are the variables that we need to add to our flow template configuration. So let's go back to our flow. And for the variable number one, this is the first name of our customer. So hi, variable number one, so this is it. 
So let's go back to our create notification dashboard. If we go back to our message variables, you would be able to see that we have a customer first name message variable here. Click on that and the variable will be copied on our clipboard. So once that's copied, go back to our flow and paste the first name variable. Now for the variable number two, we are from, that is our e-commerce store. So we also have a variable for that. So go to your message variables and click store name and then paste the store name on the variable number two. For the variable number three, these are the items that our customer attempted to purchase. So go back to message variables and you would be able to see that we have order items variable here. So copy that as well and paste it on your flow. Next for the variable number four, this is the total amount of the purchase. So go back to message variables and you'd be able to find the order amount here. So click on that and go back to our flow and paste the order amount. For the fifth variable, this is the cart URL. So go back to our message variables and you would be able to see that we have a cart URL variable here. So copy that and paste here on variable number five. For the variable number six, this is our store email. And for the variable seven, this is our store phone number. So let's copy the store email here and paste it on variable number six and copy the store phone number or store mobile and paste it on variable number seven and then confirm the template configuration. Okay, so that's how we configure our first template. Now let's configure our second template. We are going to copy this, clone, and then we are going to configure it by using the message template number two, and then use the template. And as you can see, the values are automatically populated because we just copied this node from our previous template. And since the variables from template number two are the same variables as being used on template number one, so we can use all of them. So all we have to do now is click confirm template. Now we are going to configure message number three. So we are going to clone this again and then configure our template three. So this time, instead of using message two, we are gonna use message three and use that template. And since template number three is using different variables from our template two, we are going to inspect if these variables that were automatically populated is still um, applicable for this template. So for the variable number one, it is the first name, so that's correct. So just to let you know, we reserve these items for you. Variable number two should be the order items. So we are going to copy the order items. And instead of store name, we are going to replace it with order items variable. So the third variable pertains to the total amount of the order. So we are going to move the order amount variable from variable four to variable number three. And let's continue. Let us know if you wish to continue your purchase. Click this link to continue. So variable number four is the cart URL. So from variable number five, let's move the cart URL variable to variable four. And for the variable five and six, this is the store email and store phone. So move the store email to variable five and let's copy the store mobile again and place it on variable number six. Okay, so that's good. Now let's configure our template number four. So let's just clone template number three to create template four. Configure this one and instead of using message three, let's use message four. Okay, now let's check if the variable still holds up. So variable number one is still the first name. And for the variable number two, click this link to continue. So variable number two is the cart URL. And for the variable number three and four, that's the store email and store mobile. So let's remove this and place the store email here on variable number three and copy the store mobile variable on variable number four. Okay, that's good. Let's confirm this template. 
Now for the last variable, let's copy the template number four. And instead of using message four, let's use message five. And let's inspect the variables once again. So the first variable is variable one. This is the first name, that's correct. And for the variable number two, that is the cart URL, still correct. And for the variables three and four, that's the store email and store mobile, so still correct. So we are going to confirm the template. After adding all of the templates and after configuring them, we're going to add a post box to this template. So how are we going to convert all of these templates into a post back? So it's really easy. All you have to do is create a trigger. Now let's connect this trigger to our first message. And as you can see, after connecting, the post back configuration appeared. So once you transform a message node into a post back, it means that this message node can be referenced again. And once this message can be referenced again, we can then use this for our WhatsApp sequences. So let's name this as message one, and then let's configure our trigger, use keyword, and enter one here, okay? So you can use other keywords, let's say test one. So that is my keyword for this. And let's say, let's clone this and connect this to our message number two to transform this message into a post back, meaning we can reference this message for our chat sequence. Okay, so this is my message two. And then we are going to configure our keyword trigger to test two. And then here, let's clone the trigger again and transform this message into a post back. And now let's name this post back into message three or three. And for the keyword, let's use test underscore three. So duplicate this same process, connect it on our fourth template, configure the keyword test underscore four, and let's clone this and connect it to our fifth message. Let's name this as message five or just five and configure our keyword to test underscore five. Now this is ready. All of our messages have been converted into a post back and these messages can be referenced from our chat sequence. So we can use this later once we create our chat sequence for WhatsApp. And now let's save our WhatsApp flow. Oops, we have an error here. This is because our reference node is not connected to any of our messages. So what we can do to correct this is simply connect our reference node to our first message. And once we save our flow again, it should be successful. Okay, great. We have successfully saved our flow. Now it's time to create our WhatsApp sequence. So go to WhatsApp and then go to sequences. And now let's create a new sequence. Okay, for the flow, we are going to select our abandoned card recovery flow demo number two. And for the timing, let's just use the one minute timing for testing purposes. So one minute after our customer abandons their order, then we are going to send our sequence number one message, which is this message, message number one. Okay, great. Now let's add another sequence. And one minute after that, we are going to send our second message. So same, we are going to use cart recovery flow demo number two. And for this one, we are going to use message two. So after one minute, we are going to create a new sequence, which is message number three. And same is true, we are going to use abandon recovery flow demo number two and message number three and use the same flow again. This time use message number four and we are going to use the same flow again, this time message number five. So great, we have configured our sequence. We have five messages. So one minute after our customer abandons their order, we will send sequence number one. 
and one sequence number one message has been sent we're going to send message number two now one minute after sending sequence number two we're going to send sequence number three and one minute after sending sequence number three we're going to send sequence number four and one minute after sending sequence number four we're going to send sequence number five now this is for testing purposes only and once you use this sequence for production it's highly suggested that you use a proper time interval between each message so for example if you are using it in actual instead of using one minute here you can use after three hours okay three hours after sending message number one we are going to send message number two and let's say for the sequence number three the time interval would be eight hours so after eight hours we are going to send message three and after sending message three another three hours would pass we're going to send sequence number four and after sending sequence number four let's say another eight hours for the interval between message four and message five so that is an example of the proper intervals between each message because it's really not a good user experience if you use one minute interval between each message for production so we are only using one minute interval for testing purposes so once that is configured we can go to next step and name our chat sequence so this is our chat sequence name and let's save our chat sequence all right after saving our chat sequence we can now use this for our marketing master ios e-commerce store notification so go to e-commerce and then go to shop notifications and here let's choose the correct e-commerce store so the e-commerce store that i'm going to use is the mock e-com store and as you can see here we already have and abandoned template so let me just delete this okay and then we are going to create a new abandoned cart notification when you create an abandoned cart notification always use the abandoned on the event settings and then let's name this as abandoned cart notif whatsapp demo okay so this is a demo and the notification receiver would be customer instead of admin next is for example purposes we are going to disable other notification mediums such as sms email messenger and webhooks we are only going to enable the whatsapp notification for this example okay now go to whatsapp tab and then for the whatsapp message type we are going to use whatsapp sequence after selecting whatsapp sequence as our whatsapp message type we are going to choose the whatsapp sequence abandoned cart recovery demo 2 that we have created just recently so choose this and then after all of this is configured we are now finally going to save our notification so click save notification great we have just created our abandoned cart notification for our store now we are going to test how this works so let's go to e-commerce and then we are going to visit our e-commerce store now let's try to do a test purchase and then we are going to abandon our purchase so let's say that i am going to order this so I'm going to click buy now and then I'm going to add all of the details here. So these are my customer details. Okay. So let's say I'm going to add all of this. Okay. So example, our customer already entered the shipping address, but the customer did not click continue to payment. Okay. The customer abandoned their order. So let's say I'm going to close this one. Okay. And if we go to our store orders, you would be able to see that we have a new order item here, field delivery info. Now, field delivery info event means that the customer filled up the checkout details, but have not completed the checkout process yet. Okay. Now, let's wait a few minutes. And once this order status becomes abandoned, 
we would be able to see that this SMS message that the customer entered during the checkout process will receive an abandoned cart notification on their WhatsApp, given that this SMS number is connected to WhatsApp. So the requirement should be the customer needs to enter their SMS number on the checkout page, and that SMS number needs to be connected to their WhatsApp account in order for the WhatsApp notification to work. So now let's wait for a few minutes until the order status becomes abandoned. And once the order status becomes abandoned, our WhatsApp sequences should start sending to this WhatsApp number. Okay, we will be back in a few minutes. Okay, after 15 minutes, the order status became abandoned. Now, once the order status becomes abandoned, the subscriber will be opted in to our WhatsApp sequence. So to check, we can go to WhatsApp and then go to sequences. And if you check the reports for our WhatsApp chat sequence abandoned cart recovery demo too, click this report button, you'd be able to see that the subscriber has been subscribed to our sequence and all of our five messages have been queued for sending. What we have to do now is we're going to wait until we receive the notification message on our WhatsApp account. So let's wait a few minutes until we receive the message. I'm going to show you what we are going to receive. Okay, so after a few minutes, if we check the report again, message number one and message number two is already sent. So if we go to our WhatsApp, we can see that we have received message number one here. So did you forget something? Hi Colin, we are from Mock Ecom Store and this is the order items. This is the total order and this is the link, the MMIO recovery link and this is the recovery link as well. So that is how we can trigger the abandoned card recovery. And now we have just received message number three. We received the items for you. So after a few minutes, we are going to receive message number four and message number five. All right, we have finally received all of the five abandoned cart recovery messages. And as you can see here, this is the first message that we received. Did you forget something? It was sent on 12.26 p.m. And the second message was uh, received on 12.27, one minute apart. And here, 12.28, that's after one minute. And finally, and on 12.29, one minute after the message number three, we have message number four. And finally, on 12.30, one minute after the fourth message, we finally received the last message, which is our last offer. Discount coupon expires very soon. So if we go back to our chat sequences, and then let's close this, and then we are going to refresh the reports from our WhatsApp sequences by going back to home, and then going back to our WhatsApp sequences again. And if we click the activities here, you can see that all of the messages have been sent, okay? So that's how it works. The WhatsApp notification would also work if your e-commerce store is connected to your WooCommerce store. For example, this e-commerce store is connected to WooCommerce. So if we go to WooCommerce plugin, the mock e-com store is connected to my WooCommerce here. So if your customers orders on your WooCommerce checkout page, it would work as well. So let's try it out. My e-commerce store is connected via the plugin, okay, the the WooCommerce plugin. And if we go to shop, and then on the shop, let's try to buy this one, add to cart. So mind you, this is now on our WooCommerce store, and we are going to try to abandon an order using our WooCommerce checkout page. So now let's go to checkout and add the customer details here. So I'm gonna use the same WhatsApp number, okay? So this is my phone number that's connected to WhatsApp, okay? So after adding all, all the details, we are not going to click the place order. Instead, we are going to close our checkout page and we are not going to continue with the purchase to simulate the abandoned cart event. So let's close this. And once that's done, if we go to e-commerce and then orders, 
you would be able to see that we have a new order here that have a field delivery info order status. Now, we are going to wait a few minutes until this order status becomes abandoned. This phone number would also receive abandoned cart recovery notifications in WhatsApp, same as the previous abandoned order, which was created on MMIO e-commerce store. Note that this order was created on WooCommerce. So let's wait a few minutes. Okay, so after waiting a few minutes, the order status finally became abandoned. And once this is abandoned, our subscriber will be opted into our WhatsApp sequence. So if we go to WhatsApp and then sequences and then click the reports, we now see that another queue was populated here. So message one, two, three, four, five are in queue. And if we scroll down, we can see that the previous sequence that was queue is now sent. And the messages that are now in queue was from the abandoned cart event that was created from our WooCommerce store. So let's wait a few minutes again until we receive all of the five messages here. Okay, after a few minutes to update, we have received three messages. This is the first message, the second message, and the third message. Let's wait two more minutes so that we receive all five messages. So finally, we have received all five messages. So this is how the WhatsApp chat sequence works. It will work if your customer ordered from your WooCommerce store, given that your WooCommerce store is connected to MMIO via the WooCommerce plugin. And we, it would also work if your customer orders from your MMIO e-commerce store. So just follow along by replaying the video. If there's anything that you want to clarify, just message us. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned how to create abandoned cart notifications in WhatsApp and you have learned how to create WhatsApp sequences. So stay tuned on our next video.